Hey guys, so I'm back. It's nearly the end of August and I wanted to do my birthday haul. It's predominantly tarot and oracle related things I'm going to show you, crystally things and just a few funny bits, not everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show off a few of the cards for each of the decks that I got and then if anyone wants to see anything at a later date, obviously I'll need to spend some time with stuff, but I'll take you through. I have wanted these for a while now but was when I first started out I was really unsure let's go for the tarot first whether I would be able to read them um, because I was still new and learning these don't come with a book at all and as you can see from some of them they're much more abstract I guess than your traditional cards I have actually read for a friend with this deck and my birthday was only last week and the reading just came to me it was amazing so I really really love this deck it's not wooden card it's originally painted on wood and then transferred into cards and it gives it this nice all these different colors and then the aces are gray it's an absolute, I don't know why that's upside down, it's an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, stunning deck. And because I'm a little addict, I do like to have oracle decks that I feel fit in style with the tarot. Um, it just feels like they gel more when I'm reading them. And this is by the same person, this is a 48 card oracle deck, look at the backs. These aren't in any particular order because I've been playing around with them. But again, how good do they look Oop. next to each other? They're absolutely gorgeous. Again, no guidebook. If you look deeply into them, toxic, this gorgeous, gorgeous picture with all these gorgeous things are actually toxic in one way or another. So we all know that you can get toxic mushrooms. I'm a sucker, I love it. There's no people. Not that I don't like people decks, but I do have a bit of a preference to nature and animals. So really, really excited with those. Next up we've got Tower of the Pagan Cats. And I've wanted this deck for ages because I'm a crazy cat lady and I want all the cat decks. All of the cat decks. This is a low scarabeo mass produced as you can see from the names in all of the different languages that doesn't bother me at all look at the bags they kick ass this is so right away smith I, in my opinion anyway oh the knights make me chuckle oh i wish i had all of them together all of the knights are riding different animals so there is that kind of crossover between cat behaviour and human behaviour, but not very much. Not like, say, the White Cats Tarot where the cats are actually dressed up, which is not really my thing. As most of you know, I've got the Mystical Cats Tarot. I don't feel like these are the same at all. Look at the Queen of Wands. She's still got a little black puss. Yes, crazy, crazy cats and more cats and more cats. And more cats. <laughs> I absolutely love it. I've been playing with this deck a lot already. Um, I need to do a reading with it, but I've just been enjoying flicking through it. When you get so many decks at once, that's the only thing. I really want to make sure that I give them all time. And this comes with a little white book. So my friend, who got me my Pagan Cats Tarot, her sister is an absolute little creative whiz and so they made me, well um, her sister made me, this kitty cat tarot bag to go with it. How cool is this you guys? She's never made a tarot bag before, ever. She just picked the material up I think off of eBay and I've got a little tarot bag to go with my kitties. I have been trying to convince her to get on Etsy and make these, so I'd love to know if if anyone 
thinks that these are a great idea. I know that there's probably a lot of tarot bag people around. There's a lot less in the UK um, that I've found. And also the one person who I always adored their tarot bags and wraps was Lisa. And due to an injury, she's actually... Her Etsy's on sleep at the moment, apart from her cards. Next up, I've got Deviant Moon. I didn't realise how controversial this deck was. So many people have said that they felt that this deck was quite dark or um, confronting, I think is the term that people like to use for this. And I am I love dark art, so the fact that this has been brought out borderless... I absolutely freaking adore this deck. I'm going to work with this deck a lot. In fact, I wanted to get it and I thought if I love it, then I'm going to buy the big posh table book to go with it. And I do love it. And I am going to buy it at some point because I got an Amazon voucher. It's, it's so cool. It's so cool how he, Patrick Valenza, layers the pictures, taking the textures from... I'm sure it's like from photographs that he's taken of buildings and things like that. Um, and I know that a lot of people said that they couldn't understand the moon in some of the pictures acting in certain ways. There's a picture where the moon's uh, one of the swords. It's sucking the woman out. I think it's either the nine or something like that. But obviously it's called the deviant moon. So the moon is portrayed in a particular way in, in some of these, which I don't mind. And it's got a freaking dragon in it. A dragon. Yeah. <laughs> Again, it's just it's just a gorgeous deck. The cardstock's really nice. And it kind of, I don't know if you get this, but that kind of reminds me, of, it's a bit steampunky as well. I really, really like it. And I think that... It's again, I find it very Rider Waite Smith, um, whether people would agree with me or not. And some of the pictures, I mean, look, that's that's not scary, is it, people? They're holding hands, everything's lovely, they've got a little acorn house. So pretty. So that's my deviant moon. The fairies oracle. The box is one of these boxes. It's one of the Is it Llewellyn? It's, no it's not okay well anyway these boxes it wasn't holding the cards properly even when it was brand new and I opened it so I don't trust this box at all the book that comes with this deck is huge it's going to be so much fun I've wanted this deck for ages for ages and ages and ages and my friends are wonderful and they do listen to me a lot clearly and she got me this deck I have to show you the book first because, you know, I haven't seen a book like this since my medicine cards. Um, I know I've got some good books, but, you know, a real hardback, this is going to probably out... Well, this is definitely going to outlive the cards, which is a shame. But um, this is a gorgeous book, you guys. And if you know me but at all, then you'll know that my favourite, favourite movie in of all time is the labyrinth and i love brian froud who was the he basically he drew all of or a lot of the creatures in the labyrinth and then they brought them to life and brian froud is the artist of this book of this deck of this book i've got the deck i've had to be inventive and wrap it up in tissue paper look at the cuties but this deck this deck has given me such amazing readings from the get-go. The first reading that I got, I think it's Sol, uh, S-O-L, I could be wrong. Um, essentially, it's sun energy. Um, it's very reflective of the sun card. So that was the first pull that I got with it on my first shuffle. The second ever pull that I did with it was a lovely fairy who I can't remember her name and it essentially told me that the fairies felt like they wanted to work with me. Ah, uh, Solus. There we go, obviously, Solus. 
Um, that the fairies wanted to work with me and me to engage with them, uh, especially with creativity and fun. Just, yeah. I can't describe to you how much I wanted this deck. And it's blown me away. The artwork never looks as good on the camera, on a in a photo as it does in this kind of reminds me of Pan's Labyrinth yeah it never looks as good unless you're in real life but literally these little indie these little bits they look like they're glowing it's so pretty and also Froud was part of the Dark Crystal which is another one of my favourite doesn't this look like a gelfling gelfling if you don't know what a gelfling is, one, you need to go and look them up, and two, I've totally got a gelfling haircut and sort of look a little bit like a gelfling if my hair was lighter. So if you want an insight, <laughs> I had a complete nerd out. I am so happy that I got this deck, and to be honest, the Pagan Cats deck I've wanted forever as well. They were two of my longest standing decks on my list. My friends are amazing. They're amazing. I love you guys. Not just because they buy me gifts, but they are pretty amazing for listening. I have to, have to, have to show you this. Because this has been on my list ever since it was released this year. Oh, look, it's so big. It is The Labyrinth, The Ultimate Visual History. This book has got all behind the scene pictures that are actually really good quality. It's got snippets of look how things were made it's got little bits of the script in it and you just pull them up and you can see what's behind them it's a bit of a strange layout it's got character profiles of all of the main characters in it look there's there's Ludo without a face it's got Brian Froud's original sketches in it it's just an amazing, 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 amazing book. <laughs> my nan come over a couple of days after my birthday and went, oh. she said, will you actually read that? Because it's huge. And I was like, yes, I am a super nerd like my dad. I will cherish this forever. <laughs> but my dad got me this as a little jokey gift, which I thought was pretty cool, actually. It's fun when they show an interest. The good thing I like about colouring books like this is I know it's a bit strange probably to most people I actually cut them out I scan them and then I can put them onto different materials so I can use different so obviously like, you can't use anything that bleeds with this, this paper or sometimes at the moment more recently because I've got a back injury which is one of my health problems I haven't been able to colour for eight months because every time I try I have to lean forward and it hurts um, so I've got all these gorgeous colouring books and all these fantastic materials I haven't been able to do it but I shrink them to A5 and I can do about 20 minutes at a time if you follow me on Instagram you will probably see some more of that because I need to do something to stop myself from going insane next up this book is another that's been on my list for ages I love my medicine card deck. I have tons of animal decks, oracle energies. I work with animal medicine. I have since I was little. I grew up around animal medicine. I learned a lot about, even as a very small child, about how animals bring us messages and things like that. I'm an animal human being. <laughs> this book is so in-depth, I wouldn't even know where to start. It's got such a, a fantastic array of animals and really opens up if maybe you got you kept seeing an animal that's not usually around, you could get this book out, you know, you don't have to have a deck. If you've got animal decks and you want some more information or you're working with an animal medicine or an animal spirit, this for me is a great book to have and there are some really crappy books out there. There's a lot more information on some animals than other animals. I can't really fault it. What I would say is I haven't really read it yet. As I say, my birthday was only last week. This book is massive. 
and I went out for my birthday. But I love it. Animal teachings. My animal wisdom deck wasn't wasn't a birthday present, although this freaking awesome bag is that I keep it in. When my bra matches my pants, I really feel like I've got my shit together. So true. And again, the animal wisdom deck, right? The box. <coughs> <laughs> There's no words for the box. This bag, perfect size. Look, the box, the, the book fits in it as well. So this has become my little travelling deck. Now, this book is by the same author and the same artist, which is why I was really keen to get it. I guess if you want, you'd probably think, well, you've got Animal Speak, why did you want this? This is gorgeous. That's why I wanted it. I think it's a really good companion book, and I think it works really well on its own as well. They're split into sections. Let me give you an example. Group 8 is specifically messages, animal messages that are in line with intuition. We've got chicken, jaguar, llama, mantis and rhinoceros. These gorgeous pictures which as you can see the style is, although it's by the same artist, it's got the kind of swirls that we see around the coyote. They're actually incorporated into these pictures. I like them. There's no pictures that have just been used for the deck or vice versa. They've got keywords at the top, a breakdown of the message, and then what Chicken says in a kind of quite a poetic way, I guess. It's just a gorgeous book. Basically, it's one of those things that if you're a bit of an animal fiend like me, okay animal speak and my animal messages uh, my medicine card book are probably going to be my go-to's but this is gorgeous and i can this is nice and lightweight so i can take it about with me it's so pretty if anyone wants to see any of it together i'm more than happy i do tell people do request reviews or flip throughs of things that i have that you want to see Next up we've got my Nils Yard Essentials Oil book. I love my diffuser. There's a whole range of these books, but in honesty, this is the one that I wanted. It is split up in oh, just A to Z of essential oils. It's absolutely gorgeous. If anything, it, it would make a beautiful tabletop book. It's got... Oh, these little symbols i have lost words today lost words it's got little symbols that can tell you what each of these are safe or at least advisable to make massage oil mouthwash this one bath oil massage oil diffuser it speaks about different blends breaks down what they can do for you this is the guru of all essential oil books it's got your base oils one of the most nifty things that this book has was this. It tells you how to make your own face scrubs, bath bombs, um, soaps. It's, and then it goes into circular. So we've got health stuff and we've got beauty, kind of beauty regime, relaxing products. Which, to be honest, I've got a diffuser. I use it regularly. Um, it's much preferred in the house because despite loving incense, it actually flares up my partner's eye condition and it flares it up and the diffuser doesn't. So I can only incense when I'm on my own. And the cat's come to join me. Excellent. Hey Zuri, you're going to knock the camera. <laughs> oh, Normally I wouldn't let her get away with that, but that's just hilarious. Anyway, I also am currently out of work. I am looking to start my own business. It's not in line with this. However, I was also thinking of... Can you get off of the... <laughs> can you get off of the tripod, please, puss? 
I was also thinking of making some bath bombs and things. If they go well, then I could always sell them. And I'm really sorry about the shaking. And if they don't go well, then it will be fun because I like making stuff. And anything that I can make when I'm standing and not sitting or leaning forward is great for my back right now. Can you... Oof. Next up, and I didn't get the stuff inside it, but I couldn't be bothered to take it out. <laughs> the little menace is completely ruining my video. <laughs> How big is this abalone shell? Look, it's huge. I had originally said, oh, I'd quite like a bowl to keep my crystals in and stuff. And my stepmom was like, sod that, I'm going to top it and I'm going to get this and wait for it. Check this out. Oh yeah. <laughs> How much white sage does one person need? How cool is that? I will probably have to use that in the garden um, or very quickly indoors. I can like really imagine that setting off the fire alarm. But we'll see. Look at all the pretties. How good is that? So it's seconds as a bowl. That's pretty much it. I've only got a couple more bits to show you. It's been another rambly one. I know. It's just stuff, stuff, stuff. I will start doing some more videos about other things in the community and bits and pieces. I've had a really, really... Crap is not the word. It's seriously, I've had a horrendous time with my health. I've had pain with no gap for the last eight months whatsoever. I already had three health conditions before the discs collapsed. And the health care is proving to either be expensive privately or ridiculous. Eight months of pain can drive someone crazy, you guys. Therefore, in terms of kind of videos and stuff, I've kept it quite light, just showing you bits and bobs, waiting for tags really. So if anyone knows any cool tarot tags going around at the moment, please let me know. How gorgeous are these? These are from my bestie. She also got me some awesome bath bombs from Lush, which I'm not going to show you because they will glitter me up. They are on my bookshelf. Sitting with my pretty books. Yeah! Floofy, floofy, floofy. How cute is this little dude? So cute. Well, kind of cute. He said he didn't realise until I unwrapped him the night before my birthday <laughs> that he's got a wonky smile and he looks a bit sadistic but that to me just makes it even more fantastic. He kind of reminds us of a llama as well as a unicorn. There you go. It's the small things that make you laugh, right? Like fluffy pens. Yeah. Which is probably really confusing because I've said to you guys, I literally live in black clothes. I am very dark in my appearance and yet very fluffy and pink around the edges with my stuff. Last up and I'll let you go, I got a kitty cat notebook. Who doesn't want a kitty cat notebook? I haven't decided what I'll use it for, but I'm sure it'll be something tarot-y. And then I got this gorgeous book. And this is from my friend who I'm going to be doing the wooden tarot and earthbound oracle where we write our own book. We're going to make our own descriptions for the whole of the deck. More to learn the deck than anything else. However, who doesn't want a cute book to do it in? And I'm going to get some washi tape. And yeah, it's going to be amazing. That is my birthday haul, you guys. It was, to be honest, it having my birthday after the shit storm that my health has been this year was like a complete saving grace. And I kind of needed this, so I thought I'd come on and share it with you guys. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed my little rambly rambly. And excuse the cat. She just wanted to come and be with me. She is still here. I don't know. Can I lure her over? Can I lure her over? Let's. She is over there. There she is. <laughs> 
Thank you for listening, you guys, and I'll see you soon. And don't forget to let me know about the tarot tags below. Bye! I nearly forgot these lovely stones, so I just wanted to add them in on the end quickly. This is a couple of days later, as you can tell. No nail polish. I've got... Let me try and remember. This is stick tight. Is that how you pronounce it? I cannot remember what this one is. Some... Its name begins with a B, it's something stone. Malachite. And Serpentine. This was from my lovely friend who also got me the Fairies Oracle because I said I've been wanting some green crystal energy for a long time now. So I'm very, very happy with these. Thank yous.